Let's freaking go. I know that I am a football channel, but the single most freaking basketball hire I have ever seen just went down. John Calipari leaving Kentucky to go to Arkansas. I think it's a good move for both parties. I truly do believe it. Um, obviously, shout out Don Staley. We'll talk about her, talk some basketball. Uh, we'll talk some Razorback football as well, but literally never had my jaw really hit the ground. And the last time I did an Arkansas live stream for a breaking news thing, um, it was Bobby Petrino. And what's very interesting is when we did the Bobby Petrino stream, there was a viewer who offered me to go to the Duke game the next day, and I went. And I went to that game, and I was truly blown away by the Arkansas fan. And I am not an Arkansas fan. My best friend lives in Fayetteville. My best friends live in Fayetteville. And I loved that basketball atmosphere. And you lose Eric Musselman, who everyone considers a really, really good basketball coach. And you land with a college basketball Hall of Famer. This is my biggest positive about John Calipari coming to the Arkansas Razorbacks. It has nothing to do with the NCAA tournament. Nothing. Because even though Coach Cal has been the worst NCAA tournament coach of the past couple of years, losing to Oakland, and then last year losing to a good Kansas State team, but then the year before that, losing to St. Peter's. NCAA tournament basketball results are overrated. They are. Um, it's small sample size. You say hi to Lawson, who says, Woo Pig. It's got the Landon Jackson. Profile. I'm telling you right now, this is one of the best hires I have ever seen by any school to pluck someone from the premium job in the country. Kentucky basketball, if you were to list the best jobs in the country, Kentucky, North Carolina, Kansas would be your hurry. You took him away. Even if he has all the pressure, even if Kentucky wants him out, even if the buyout is large, even if you have to pay him $8 million over five years, this is a good move. Because NCAA tournament results are always overrated. Do you truly believe Coach Cal is going to keep losing to double-digit seeds? No. It eventually turns around. It turned around for Matt Painter. Uh, it turned around for Tony Bennett. It's going to turn around for the Arkansas Razorbacks. What a hire. What a hire. And it's a win-win for both sides. Kentucky moves on. I think I would say probably 60 to 70% of the fan base wanted to move on. Mitch Barnhart and Coach Cal have had their differences going back to the Bob Stoops fiasco. But the bottom line is this is – Really one of the best coaching hires I've ever seen. So Hunter Yurichek, who was under a lot of heat for not getting Chris Beard, it's a miracle hire. Now, how much of this was in Tyson's? How much of this is actually um, Coach Cal? How much of this is Hunter Yurichek? I don't know. I really, really don't know. But if you take a look at the results, they speak for themselves. They really, really, really do. Okay? You see a national championship mix in there, and I understand. There's not a whole lot of elite eights. I understand. There's not a conference championship at Kentucky over the last four years. But the truth is, John Calipari kept bringing in five-star after five-star after five-star, and he kept winning. Now, did he win big? No. Did he underachieve each and every one of those seasons? You can make a very strong case that he did. Let 
Let me see. Um, I'm still trying to get the finalized contract details, but man, I'm literally jaws on the floor. I, I still don't even know how to react to this. Huh? Huh? Normally I'm live and full of energy. The Bobby Petrino thing does not shock me as much as this, as much as that doesn't make sense because obviously Cal and Arkansas don't have any bad blood. Bobby Petrino and Arkansas obviously has a lot of that. This is way more shocking than that. Bobby Petrino was uh, at X A and M with a coach who just got fired. He needed to go somewhere. John Calipari did not need to leave Kentucky. Now, what many will say is this will be a clear drop down for Coach Cal, and it is. Once again, Kentucky's a blue blood. It's one of the best programs of all time, but it's not a big drop down. Uh, it's not a ginormous drop down. He didn't take the Missouri job. He took a job that's won a national championship. He's taken a job that's put a lot of players into the NBA. He's taken a job where he does know some people in higher places. So I honestly do think Coach Cal is going to be very excited about this. I don't believe this is just a check. I don't believe it's just a situation where he's trying to get out of Kentucky. I think he wants to prove that he's going to national championship somewhere else outside of uh, you know, Kentucky, and I think Arkansas is the place where you can do that. I really do believe it. Now, I'll talk some women's basketball here because uh, Don Staley is in the SEC. She became one of the best coaches of all time today, losing all of those draft picks and still going to win it all and exceeding expectations in almost every NCAA tournament she's been in. Her only lost over the past couple of seasons is to arguably the best player we've ever seen. And in the last three years, she's lost, what, three games? And the most points she's lost by is four points. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. And to rebuild a team that's nine deep after losing, what, five WNBA draft picks from the year before? What a career. What a career for Don Staley. But we'll mostly keep it on Coach Cal. So if you have any questions, I just wanted to give you my initial thoughts on it. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be live. Uh, I'm honestly kind of tired. Huh? 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 But I, I wanted to discuss it because I, I want to remember where I was when I saw one of the single most shocking looking hires in the history of, of sports. Honestly, never really seen anything quite like this. Okay. Um, uh, Kentucky site says, I'm told recruits who are currently committed to Kentucky, I've already been contacted about flipping to Arkansas. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Now, where does Kentucky go? Obviously, the name that Kentucky is going to pursue is Nate Oates. I really do think they'll pursue Nate Oates. Right? Very analytically driven. The anti-cow. A far more modern approach to the game of basketball. A guy that's going to work the portal definitely better. I think that would be the direction if you're a Kentucky to go in. But I I don't know at this point. I really, really, really don't. So congrats to the Arkansas Razorbacks and one of the craziest, craziest stories I've ever seen. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. (sighs) 
Unbelievable. Change to the bubbles. Let's see here. Does Bruce Pearl take the Kentucky job? I don't know. Every head coach in the country's phone lines are open. Every single one of them. Chris Beer, TJ Altsenberger from Iowa State. Hmm. Danny Hurley. Why would Dan Hurley leave what he has at UConn? Ken, welcome. Hmm. That just does not make any sense. And the Dagum solar eclipse is hitting Arkansas tomorrow. I still can't believe Kentucky doesn't have to pay the buyout. No buyout whatsoever. Unbelievable. So this is the timeline here. Let me share this really quickly, and I will skedaddle. SMU fired a decent coach, Rob Lanier. Andy Enfield leaves USC for SMU. Eric Musselman leaves Arkansas for USC. John Calipari leaves Kentucky for Arkansas. Unbelievable. What about Jay Wright for Kentucky? I've never seen a hire go win-win for both schools. Jeez. Still trying to get the final contract details. Billy Donovan, does Billy Donovan come back to Kentucky?
$33 million buyout saved by Kentucky. So five years, $8 million. That's, yeah, that's what I've seen and, and said earlier. Just waiting to get that double confirmed, but it's crazy. Halo Master says, Cal is a cheating bum. Arkansas made another mistake. Okay. So this is what I would say to you, Halo Master. The first thing is Arkansas was set to hire Chris Beard. Chris Beard was going to be your guy. Can I talk about morality? Okay. So if you didn't get Chris Beard, who was the next guy that all Arkansas fans wanted? It was Will Wade. Those were the top two names. Chris Beard from Ole Miss State. Will Wade. Has he ever, has Will Wade ever been involved in a cheating scandal? I would know. I would not know that. I wouldn't. In fact, I'd ever heard of Will Wade talking about you. No, Master, you're not going to get a school altar boy to coach your team. And in many ways, you talk to anyone at Arkansas, they'll tell you that Mike Anderson didn't have enough cheat in them didn't have enough of do whatever it takes to get the mother effing deal done in them that's part of it. part of the game jordan says bill self to lsu huh, 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 huh. let's go to my guy hog john sorry we didn't get the link up two weeks ago Arkansas boosters are really sticking to the bus. If he could have gotten this five million year NIL commitment, he never would have left. Yeah, and, and this is what I would say about this Hawk John. Now that you have such a seismic shift and you can pay to get whatever type of talent, how much does the actual school brand matter when it comes to basketball anymore? It matters some. North Carolina, UConn, I mean, all that stuff still matters. Kentucky is still a thing, but it matters more in football than in basketball. It really does. Look at the teams that were actually elite this year in basketball. Is Purdue a top 20 basketball program? Maybe so, Gene Katie. But I don't think Purdue is like a big time brand. If you take a look at the the ones and the twos, Arizona, North Carolina, of course, big brands. They won national championships, but you had Iowa State, you had Illinois, and with all due respect to Deron Williams, Illinois, really, Illinois, with the portal now, you have schools like Alabama making their first Final Four. So. Kyle was like, look, with NIL, I can go recruit whoever I want. And then, of course, like Kentucky's legendary players will always be connected to Kentucky. But let me ask you this, and this would be my deep mistake. But do you think the Kentucky players who played at Kentucky under Coach Cal, do you think that they would have more loyalty to the Kentucky brand, or do you think they'll have more loyalty to Coach Cal? Well, in the one and done era, you can make a case that Cal might be able to get a Devin Booker to put in a good word for him or a five star recruit to go to Arkansas. Cal, Shay, whoever it may be. I could just be spitballing here, but maybe some of that bleeds over a little bit more for basketball than it does for Maybe it does. 
But man, I'll tell you this. I have never, ever in my life seen a more win-win hire. I'll, I'll even light the back up. I'll drop red for the audience. I have never seen a win-win hire for both schools, like Arkansas getting Cal. Maybe Coach Cal is, is washed up. You know, they're going to compare this to Jimbo Fisher. Win one national title at an all-time great school and then go to a second tierish program. And maybe the game is outdated for you. It's a, there's going to be a ton of Jimbo Fisher decisions. And a lot of them would be valid because, like Jimbo, Cal is, for the most part, underachieved this last five years. But I think Cal still has a lot of good coaching left in him. I really do think so. I really, really, really do. Kevin Garnett even tweeted. Oh, man, this is crazy. It's crazy when you have NBA guys who didn't even play college. Fellow pro basketball Hall of Famer, Kevin Garnett. Coach Cal to Arkansas, $8 million a year and $6 million at NIL. Unbelievable. Mm. Did they fight for Cal or just let him leave? They let him leave. I think Cal knew once he took the interview with Arkansas that he was taking this job. No Final Fours in the past nine years for Coach Cal. I'll tell you this, if Kentucky if if Kentucky really wants to go after it, shouldn't they at least go for Jay Wright? I think if you're an Arkansas fan, the guy you want to go for, if you are a believer in zero sum games, I think it's more important in, in, in football than it is basketball. You would kind of hope that Kentucky went for Nate Oates. Because if they go for Nate Oates, Alabama's going to fall off. Let's go to Seth. Did the boosters really dislike Mus that much? To not donate to NIL, I will default to Hog Johnny. Uh, I've heard they pulled back from the twenty-two twenty-three, which is why they missed on Ron Holland and their talent flipped. Yes, yeah, so Ron Holland was like the the, the five-star sponsor, right? 
One thing I'll also tell you, and I noticed this um, from covering LSU football for as long as I have. Um, I've noticed that boosters will step up and pay huge salaries when it comes to coaches. They really will. Play, it's a lot harder. All right, so, for instance... LSU is in the running for, and, and LSU obviously has, you know, big football boosters. Not as big as Texas A&M, but they they, they have big boosters. They're in a running. Uh, they're in the running for, bids and uh, LSU got outbid. Well, this past off season, LSU paid for a ridiculous amount of coaches to join their defensive staff. I mean, huge salaries for their defensive coaches. And it's all guaranteed money, or mostly guaranteed money, signing bonuses, all that stuff. And, you know, a lot of fans are like, hey, where, where's that money for so and so? Boosters don't mind paying for coaches, they just don't. Michael Williams says, Coach Cal is 65, the oldest to win. A title is 68-year-old Calhoun. Okay, you got a three-year window. Uh, uh, uh. Now, I mean, I think, I think Cal's got a, a good five years left in him. I do. I really do believe it. So, once again, the timeline. SMU coach takes the USC coach. USC coach takes the Arkansas coach, Eric Musselman. Arkansas coach takes the Kentucky coach. The SMU job will, will, is what started all of this. It doesn't make any sense. Seth says Jay Wright is the perfect fit for Kentucky. He's got the right last name, Cows, can win at Tyler Ages. Now, Chris Johns, Chris Johns was a big name. That uh, Arkansas. I still can't believe this, dude. All right. I think I'm done. I think I've had enough internet for the day. Huh? 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 I've done a few live shows put together. A uh, good bit of content. Shout out Don Staley. Arkansas fans, you guys deserve it. You really do. Obviously, you're, you're hoping Dave and Horn gets you your first man. Natty that people actually care about. 
uh, since Nolan and that before, but man, what a day. Uh, I might do a video on this tomorrow. I don't know. I just wanted to hang out and thank every one of you Arkansas fans. We'll have a video. Rob, our next Arkansas video will probably be after the spring game. But what we'll do is in the next five minutes, I'll take as many questions as you possibly can. If you super chat, we'll keep it going. It is an SEC channel. Um, let me take a look at Arkansas's 2024 schedule again in football. And I do not believe Arkansas plays Auburn next year. They don't. I watch the Auburn spring game. Do. Oh, man. Auburn's got a true freshman receiver named Cam Coleman, who is a real deal. And, of course, Auburn is going to get good under Hugh Freeze while you guys get to still play them. Yeah, I don't think Arkansas, I don't think Kentucky's going to go after Will Wade. I think that job is a little, a little too hot. If you're Kentucky, you, you've got, You've got to go get an English term. You just do. And they should be able to. They should. But Cam Coleman is a real deal. If you want to see my film study on Cam Coleman, here you go. It is. Power. Power. SEC, boom. And tonight we're doing Buffalo Chicken. Let's go. Yeah, Michael, there's going to be a lot of Kentucky guys that will probably transfer over. Let's go. 